Hello and welcome to the South Fiordland bush flying tour. And if you're new to me and this video series, check in the description below and there is a link to the episode of the series which will tell you all about it, where we are and where to get a copy of this scenery. So for this leg of the trip, the Fjord Tours brochure says Time for some fun next as we head to Mount Crowfoot Valley and a chance to try out their famous mountain bike trail. It's mostly downhill so it's not a difficult ride and is a lot of fun for people of all ages and fitness levels. Take your time and have a gentle ride down or go at it full speed for a thrill-seeking ad adrenaline rush. Now, with these videos in this series, I have been just doing one leg of the tour at a time. So one landing at one single airfield. But not today. It is still only one leg according to the Fjord Tours brochure, but we're going to need to land at two places. Now in the brochure there are pilot notes as well, and for this one it tells us that we used to drop our tourists at the main airfield, and there was a vehicle that would drive them up to the start of the mountain bike trail. However, the vehicle broke down recently, so they have been asking if we could fly our passengers up to the start of the trail instead, and then fly back down to the main airfield again afterwards to pick up the tourist once they made it back down on the mountain bike trail on their bikes. So to save messing about, we'll just go straight up to the bike trail start line first where there is a small um, let's call it a, a landing area as the word runway might be a bit optimistic it slopes upwards it slopes sideways it's not very long there is no room to do a go around and you can't land short but apart from that, it is very easy. Um, yeah, welcome to South Fiordland flying. And it's just around this valley here. Uh, I think that mountain directly ahead of us is Mount Crowfoot for which Mount Crowfoot Valley was named. And I can't really see it at the moment, but just down sort of underneath us to our right. That is the main Mount Crowfoot Valley airstrip. Okay, up there it is. make out in some places the brown dirt mountain bike trail which goes up the hill in this section of valley. And we'll follow that up and around the corner. it is right at the end of the valley that's the little spot where we've got to land but no problem I am an experienced field tours pilot I'm sure we'll be just fine although make sure your seatbelt is done up extra tight. I'll try and get right at the very threshold of the runway 
at almost stall speed because it's not very long. That wasn't quite what I had in mind. That one way is on a bit of a plateau, isn't it? And I don't think I made it. Yep, straight into the side of the hill there. Um, yeah, not good. But no, no problem. Re reset, rewind. We can do this again. Um, let's have another go. We'll definitely get it this time. Um, in and oh, shit. third time, third time lucky. We'll definitely be fine this time. Absolutely no problems. Looking much better, isn't it? Yes, and uh. My engines appear to have stopped working. Fourth time, we're definitely going to get it this time. Yep, that's actually looking better. And I think we've landed. Woohoo, get in there. Go me. God, I'm brilliant. Right, so um, let's head back down the valley again and go and land at the actual Mount Crowfoot Valley airfield. As I've said before, in real life this is me sitting down and having quite a long flight doing quite a few separate legs and then I'll split the videos up into smaller individual leg segments and I think this is probably going to be the last one of this batch of uploads as that's probably enough flying for me because once we land I am going to need to phone up Fjord Tours and try and explain why I'm on the fourth aircraft of the day and exactly what happened to the first three. Um, maybe that spares place on Revolution Island. Um, I wonder if they could send a mechanic out. This is a very South Fjordland-like airfield as well, requiring a fairly sharp turn to get down. But there is enough room to do it if, uh, if things go to plan. Yeah, that one's much better. Yep, I like that one. turning approach that's why I recommend a Baron if you're in something that you can land at 30 knots that would be a lot easier flying a Baron um, yeah that's much more fun yes turn around and go back to the apron area Yeah, mountain bikes and fresh bacon. Uh, ooh, actually, looks like they're having a barbecue. Uh, yeah, while I'm 
phoning Fjord to is to um, apologise for those three aircraft. Um, yeah, maybe I could have a hot dog as well. Right, that will do then. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this little batch of videos. Um, I'll be back with another batch in the not too distant future, no doubt. Uh, see you soon then.